You guys want to hear a good menu noise? Uh, sure. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's decent. I like it. It's, you know, it's understated. It's kind of classic. I'm going to do a Mega Man or something. Yeah, it's, you know, that sounds like the menu sound you would have heard, say, 15, 20 years. Well, eh, more than that. Starcraft. Hmm. Okay, it's a little Starcraft-y. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's early, mid-90s. I, I think it's just a good quality. I like the pitch. I just, I, this is a good sound. Jeff, what interactive masterpiece would, involve, would incorporate this kind of fantastic menu sound? Well, this is Lost Planet 3. Okay. From Capcom. It's Spark. Oh, Capcom, huh? Is, um, is it just Spark now? I think so. Is, is the Spark no longer unlimited? They've put some limits like, on the Spark. Now they've established they're just, like, firm limits on like the Spark. they're just limited to one Spark now? I, I don't actually know. Um, and we're going to look at this game, too? Or is anyone going to play some this? Listen to it. Ooh. Yeah. It's a good noise. Now that you really get into yeah. it. Well, it's not bad, either. Wait, what's the back? Oh! We'll have to save the pack sound for later. Yeah, that's you have to buy the game if you want to see that. We can't have <laughs> all the spoilers. Here. This is pretty early on in the campaign uh, of Lost Planet Three. It's a very different game from its predecessors. Oh God, I fucking hope so. Wait, uh, Lost Jesus. Planet, Lost Planet One. Uh, Lost Planet One uh, came out at a very specific. Lost point Planet in time. One is fine. Yeah, I got no problem. <laughs> Just I got Lost no Planet issue. Lost Planet Two done you real with bad. Lost Planet. Baton, Lost Planet Two can go fuck itself. You visit the quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the Acrid can get. Is he drunk? But first you want to head down to the no. service pit and inquire with our lead <laughs> tech, Gale. That's you. As to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Jim? Uh, doctor, if you you're Jim? Jim Rayner. Oh, wow. Sorry you no. didn't see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. So <laughs> That's pretty good running. That's, yeah. Run at, run at the camera again. Also, he's got a real... I run it, run it, run it. He's got a really intense thousand-yard stare going on. <laughs> The eyeballs aren't really... It's like the Burger King mask in <laughs> Sneak King. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, okay, get once... Me, get me out of here. Once, once you let him animate, he looks... Help me. See, it almost seems like it locks the face while you're moving. It does. And then when you... Oh, and just then, about. And then when you stop moving, he starts looking around like a normal person. I don't know what I'm the same way. About. Like, you can only look straight ahead when you're running. It's so that... And that run is so just like... He's putting his whole body into it. He's trying to keep his blood moving, man. Yeah, Look how right. cold it is. He doesn't have enough tang. That... That looks... None of us do. Hang on a minute. That, that looks right. familiar. Yeah. That UI... I've seen that somewhere before. Steam World Dig. You <laughs> caught in the, uh... Alright. Give the game a goddamn chance, alright? I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that just because I think it looks bad or whatever. I just like doing that. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, cloth physics are fun, man. That wasn't cloth physics. That was something else. <laughs> Bless you. There you go. <laughs> Bless you. Thank Is that you. plastic physics? It's cool. He puts his arm up a little bit. Well, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the base. This is not too long after the kind of initial. Uh, so is, is uh, this tutorial kind of phase? Do you know if, if this is like a hub or is this just where you happen to be in the story? I think this is the hub. Okay, so um, you're gonna come back here. Uh, from time to time. So, Brad, you getting at that, that somebody might owe Visceral some money? For some uh, that interface? That UI thing? looked pretty dead spacey. Mm. That's all I'm saying. Gale's service pit. We we're supposed to go see Gale. Is that a male Gale? I believe so. That's the male spelling. G A L E. G A L E. Isn't that usually it's a. It's like a last name at that point. Eh. There's a, there was a male character named Gale in Breaking Bad a couple seasons ago. I think that was G-A-L-E. Okay. That's the that's my only point of reference. I know everyone's excited about the supply drop, but no crowding this time. I see anyone near the inventory out of turn. I'm docking his next paycheck for time lost. Can you jump? Nope. Not in the hub. I can roll when I'm out there fighting. Is this, this is FMV, isn't it? It is. Wait. You're saying this is rendered? Yeah. Or what's it? Uh, rendered in engine. Maybe. maybe Pre-rendered, rather. No, maybe it's not. I don't know. I can't tell. You must Who cares? Be the new I guess. They call me Jim. Jim, I'm standing. Welcome to EDN3, Jim. The E stands for... I like uh, Jim's voice acting so far. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. Well, you, you do or don't? Oh, no. How do you like it? Uh, it's, uh... 
I, I, I like it, it's been real plain. It's been real okay. like Are every man. Like day. they said, her name was Gail. <laughs> it's been all right. Right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know. I know. I hear it all the time. Girl's name should not be off looking for a date for junior prom. Dude, I understand your concern. Don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood. I already did. Listen, kid. Gail. How about we do the get to know you as while we work on putting my rig together? Ooh, ooh, hey, hey. You serious? Uh, yeah. We shift ahead in pieces. <laughs> now that I'm here, we can build it. Um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. Come again? It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. What finishing touches? Threw on some spring-loaded Kerner retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you'd think on an ice planet. Get it? Ice planet? Because the heat... Kid, planet. listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, <laughs> and this rig. Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two? You follow? That is my whole nest egg. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit, and I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first, you can't really say in the world anymore because you're on another planet. Sorry, just pet peeve. Oh, I hate you. And yeah. This and is secondly, okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? I seen so bad the writing and the the oh, delivery. Sorry. Yeah, it's not it's not. Cool, okay. Like like pretty good. Yeah. That was kind of. Yeah. Good. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll that meet you up there. Kind of better than I expected. Up. Yeah. Take your time. You know, Capcom has a, you know, up and down record for kind of natural dialogue in their games. Well, that's, I don't know, that's kind of a weird assessment to make because they've used so many different developers, you know? Yeah, and you know, a lot of stuff in the past was just translated straight, poorly translated. Well, I mean, this, this is, you know, this is entirely developed in the U.S. as far as I know. Yeah, it seems alright. Unless Japan had some involvement in it. I, I heard the whole John about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the quartermaster, name's Bowers, but most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? All right, pal, take your time eyeballing the wares. I'll stay out of your hair. Wait, I'm buying a knife. So Lost Planet, if I remember correctly, and you, Brad, you oh, played Lost Planet too, so you, you know I didn't. For up close <laughs> you let me know. The there was not, free sharpening. nothing about nothing space trucking or anything like that, right? Ooh. Like, we weren't miners or... Oh. It was all no, so this is, you know, it seems like... You are leaving your wife and child to uh, come to EDN3 uh, to kind of pilot this mech suit around and get t ing okay. Yeah, keep, keep, keep heat coming into the base. And uh, Nevik hasn't necessarily been on the level with what's really going on out here. But you've got kind of like a blue-collar job of just yeah, like yeah, you're, getting out yeah, there. You're, and... kind of a, you're, you're not quite a space trucker, but yeah, this is something, you know. This is not, not too far off. This, is it the same planet? EDN3 is, is, is that the always planet? been yeah. the, the planet? Keep fighting the good fight. But hang on. But it warmed. And this is not necessarily set in after the events of Lost Planet 2. Okay. Or even or even after the events of Lost Planet 1? I believe it might be set before both of those. I, I really? don't I don't know where it sits in the timeline. I'm okay. sorry. I, I, I do not I kinda, know. If this ended up being like a prequel to the first game, that would be kind of interesting. I kind of lost the thread on Lost Planet 1 because well, at some point it kind of became like anime story. And also right? this game starts out like 50 years in the future with super old Jim and this whole game is told in flashback. Oh, so weird. on top of that, it's time. It be? Whatever. Huh. Well, I'm kind of curious how it fits in because this... The series has been so all over the place, you know. Like Lost Planet yeah. One, like, you found yeah. out your dad was like a, a super mech pilot, right? And so I never, like, I never finished. In fact, I didn't get super far in the first one. But well, like you, one. you're saying that that got kind of anime capacity, influenced, right? I and then two. That's what I remember. Two was fucking bizarre on every level. Yeah. I mean, never nice mind the weird game. gameplay structure. But like they, had, you know, the planet had warmed, and there were all these like. Mercenary factions fighting against right. each other, yeah. and the story was kind of yeah. incomprehensible. And they all had names over their heads. Uh, right, I mean, you know, yeah. Then there was the weird multiplayer stuff, and now they've gone to a Western developer, and this might be a prequel. Like, what is this series? 
There was shotgun. I, I think I that after know. Lost Planet 2, they probably didn't know what the series was either. Yeah, so okay. they did this with it. Yeah. And if this doesn't work out, they probably won't make another one. Yeah, you're right. But I'm actually, not, from what I've seen of this in the last ten minutes, I'm actually more interested. Curious to yeah, curious to know how this is, or maybe play it. Maybe. I'm with you though. For uh, I've been out in the combat a little bit. It seems kind of plain. Okay. Uh, well, that's the, the, thing. the multiplayer seems bad. If how about that? It's combat not, is not to foreshadow <laughs> the rest of this. Quickly. Okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, if it's not great to play, then I might. These tight quarter interiors. Seems a little rough. Uh, All right, definitely might, do remind might, me. I might pass then. Of uh, Dead Space. It's like this interior stuff. Do you hit the bumpers to do a 90 degree turn and get all blurry on the camera? No, you push down on the D-pad to do 180. Or do you, super blurry? Can you hit the bumpers to stomp really hard? Mm, really hard? No. Like really hard? No. Like go up to that lady and hit so right I bumper. Hit this, I can hit push down on the uh, D-pad that's not and blurry just do at this. All. Go up to that guy and hit right bumper and see if you stomp his head off. Pretty sure you're not going to stomp. Okay, this is not dead space. I mean, we're also not in the fighting part of the game, so... Jimmy here. Jimmy here. <laughs> running, running. Hey, it's your buddy. Oh, more of him. Out, so oh, it'd be so good if he just got stomped by a rig right now. <laughs> you really don't like that guy, <laughs> huh? Just Samuel L. Jackson just eaten by a shark. Ah, uh, good old gypsy danger. <laughs> How did Jim afford a rig like this? Mortgage? Seems like it'd be really expensive. How do you build your own rig? Ah, uh, you know, it's, the future's weird. <laughs> Not bad at all. Thanks. Didn't need this, though. Go. Oh, that's rig humor. You ready to try this? Dry treated hypertensile kern retractors. I like to call it the Cockpit Express. You got one on the front, one on the back. You just clip in. Give a line a tug, shoop! And by shoop, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from 10 meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. <laughs> Timing off a little bit on the... Yeah. Wait, clip in. He did say, yeah, he specifically clip said in. to clip in. It's gonna go bad. Uh, well... <laughs> Alright. He doesn't care. Follow instructions, Jim. Hey, yeah. That's roomy. That's a nice. Yeah, uh, seriously. Yeah. That's like a full-on <laughs> cockpit. You can sleep in this thing. That's yeah. not. That's not like strap in and then your motions control yeah. the next motion. It's like a thing. nice, you know, office this chair. Is, this is like a full-on tank. Okay, the rigs passed our diagnostics check, but let's see if those servo controls. All right, look up at this light, camera. chief. All right. Go ahead and test out that car arm. Wait, you said you've done some of this already, right? Uh, no, you also are out of the, the oh, okay. bot fighting, too, so. Excellent. Notice how much faster your arm's swinging? Just a little gift from yours truly. Okay, just a few more tests. Now the drill. Great. Lastly, I upgraded the shielding on your rig's bracers to class 4. Try a defensive posture. <laughs> Beautiful. You'll be using that move here on your three more than you have. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, terrible. Let's try ah. Be free. I right, can step on that kid. LaRoche, come in. Corona's base to LaRoche. That's not him. Oh, no. We can't lose LaRoche now. We barely have Diaz replaced. Hey, Chief. Jim Payton here. You copy? Payton. Is your rig online already? Yeah, looks like the kid here might know his stuff, but I'll know for sure after I take her out for a spin. That French fella still not back? Yes, I'm afraid he hasn't been responding to radio calls. Well, why don't I go have a look for him? I know where we parted ways, and he did save our butts just a little. Say no more, Peyton. Do they say what year this is? They might. Damn it. 2000XX. I always like when knowing when things are set in the future. 1978. Okay. I just I like to know what they're. I like to know how optimistic they are about how quickly we could, colonizing other planets. How quickly mm. we could pull off something like this from the standpoint of technological advancement. 
What is Brad? Did you know that reloading next to a munition, munitions locker replenishes all ammo and grenades? I didn't know that. Yeah. What, was, what was that, Vinny? I'm gonna say, what does Brad say? Never. Never? No. Boy. We'll probably Fatalist, put, huh? Like we'll put an end to ourselves <laughs> before that could ever happen. Oh, man. Oh, that's promising. Oh, this stuff looks kind of familiar. I think they showed some of this stuff at E3. Oh, jump down there. Or something like this, at least. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is similar to some of the stuff they were showing off hey, right now. Arlen. Whoa. Uh, hi. So I'm just gonna decide that it's not weird to be having a one-way conversation with you. Not weird at all. Yeah. So when do you find out she's a figment uh, of your imagination? Oh, hey, I don't know. I and he never had a wife. Probably six hours in or something. Insane. Okay. KK. Uh, you can configure your weapons loadout at any munitions locker in this game. Oh, thanks for the hot tip. Yeah, no problem. You know anything about red X's? Mm, if you, they put them on the money and then you have the money, you're kicked out of the country club. Whoa! Drill that thing. Drilled. Pick up that buzzsaw. Oh, that doesn't look good. Best to follow the trail. Coronas, this is Peyton. You still read me? Peyton, Coronas actual. Copy you loud and clear. Any sign of LaRoche? Well, I found his rig back at, let's see, White Canyon Junction? Looks pretty beat up, but no trace of the man himself. Thanks for the update. Just keep looking. I know he's out there somewhere. Don't get out of your room. Right. Never get out of your trench. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll take the path. Fine. Hello? 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 Hello. That's that's that's, that's not a poor, great echo. That is poor echo. <laughs> Audio team. What? 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 Hey! 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 To hey, your, hey, left. hey to your left. To your left. So when I'm close to my rig, I get the radar and this other tactical stuff. Uh huh. If I stray too far away from it, it all, it all eventually fades out. Huh. Hmm. Like staticky. What if you're buying munitions depot? Just kind of. That's kind of an interesting it's idea. I had that crab out of its shell and ready to dip in butter. Then one foot sleeps over the ledge and my whole rig is on her back. Did you see what he did to her? Nothing that can't be fixed. You're lucky you got out with all your limbs. Ah, keep your perspective to yourself, rookie. Fight a few giant crab monsters of your own, then speak to me of luck. Fair enough. Guess we're even. <laughs> Acreage. All right. Now, what do you think about these weirdly colored spots here on them? What do you think I should do? Probably. That's probably where they poop. Yeah, probably. From. And then we can get up uh, and collect. Uh, oh well, maybe not. Get that, get that teeing. That one died in a weird spot. So, oh, got distracted. Do you have a grappling hook? Yeah. Uh, I think so. You do it in multiplayer. Okay. You haven't got me yet. Shoot him in the butt. So in this case, like the, your T-ing is basically your currency. Like that's what you're spending at the oh. store. So it's not it's not ticking down. You're not no, losing it. No. Ever. Okay. Doesn't look like you're very cold. Like no hood up or. That's because you're powered by T-ing. I don't know. Your predecessor Diaz set up a thermal post nearby. 
It's been sitting full, wasting T energy since she disappeared. Locate the post and tap it before you return. Just be careful. Acrid like to nest around untended thermal posts. Good luck. All right. Let's go that way. This game's got walk and chat. A little brief bit. Briefings while you're uh, we'll walk slow down to a walk. How do I? I feel like I'm not really uh, changing weapons the way here. Oh, that's not. No. <laughs> that's nope. definitely not the weapon change button. Nope. Why button? That's what I'm pushing, and it's mm. not giving me pistol. Up on the D-pad. Well, that's not it. Uh, that pulses your uh, nav uh, stuff. Hmm. Hold Y. Yep. Video games. Video games. I believe the grappling hook in this game is situational. Like when you get to a point where it can be uh, used, it uh, gives you some some HUD element. Hmm. All right. Where do you think I should be going here? Okay. Run, 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 run. Way ahead of you. <laughs> Doing it. Whee! They give you a little delay after you uh, roll to make sure it's not faster? Uh, not really. I don't know. It's alright. I just don't think it's faster. Mm. <laughs> you really want those munitions lockers. Look, don't forget <laughs> to access the munition lockers. <laughs> They're attached to, to the outside of your rig's feet. Beep, 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 beep. Wormholes. Tang. Tang? Tang. Tang. What's your favorite flavor of tang? I don't like tang. Isn't there only, I mean, I don't orange? I don't tang know. flavored tang. I don't know. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. The astronaut's choice. Yep. Americans spent four billion dollars to make a powdered drink they could bring into space. The Russians used a pencil. <laughs> what? Man. Yes? I like Tang. Yeah? Do you? Yeah. Really? I mean, yeah, totally. What's yeah. wrong with it? I don't know, I'm a fan. You gotta get the mix right. Too little and it's just water, gross flavored water and too much and it's sugar bomb. Yeah. Uh, basically, you just double what they tell you to put in it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that the recommended distribution is too little? Yeah. I think I've just had a bunch of bad tang batches that like, you know, I don't like some, if you make it with like warm faucet water, like gross. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is tang still around? Totally. Where would it go? Yeah. Space, back home. You're saying it was discovered in space? I'm saying, what have, <laughs> what have you heard? It's a cover up. They didn't have Tang when they went up. They had plenty of Tang when they tang, came down. Tang actually arrived here on a meteorite. Mm hmm They found Tang DNA around the Arctic Circle, embedded in meteorites. There's probably some soldiers in here. Are you a soldier? I'm like a... I'm a... Mercenary? Yeah, why are you here? Trucker. What is I'm here to make money for my wife and kid. But but, but got what, three things. What is the company? What is Nevik here? Nevik? They're colonizing. Is that right? Yeah, Nevik. Like, I what? don't know. I feel like in the last game you were the other side. Like, oh, what's hey, the that's, like? That's what's the good. what's the Enterprise here? The Enterprise, I think, is trying to colonize this. Oh. Like, kind of the forward team. Okay. I think. Church of Unit. Why do you want to colonize a planet that's super cold and has a lot of big ugly bugs on it? Because they can terraform it to make it warm for Lost Planet Two. Well, great. That's a noble goal. Yeah. <laughs> well, sure. You gotta tell them how that works out. Yeah. Hey. Ins yeah. Let me let me let me ensure you that all of your work uh, is is very much worth it. How long until something happens to his wife? Well, they're on Earth, right? Yeah. You don't even communicate with them in real time. Earth gets blown up. Damn bugs yeah. whacked them all. Not from Buenos Aires. <laughs> Oh no! Don't! Oh, Mom is gonna be mad. I bet. There's no indications that those are even eggs. They but just be gross, explosive. Okay, all right. Fine. But but they're eggs. 
You know. Yes. Man. Yes. These things were here first. It's true. Their world. They're just kind of. We didn't land on EDN three. EDN three landed on us. They're just coming in, tearing them up. I think the melee is really crappy. Are you, yeah, are you, just, are you just clipping right through him? Or are you just only trying to reach out and grab him? Or no clipping through him? You think he's just going to keep coming out of this hole or what? Right, I would dude. press forward gonna, if I were let's, you. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I don't think it went in. <laughs> uh, well, I should probably pulse my nav beacons because I don't really know where I'm going. There, I'll, I'll get out there. You're doing it. Do you have any kind of... Oh, red around. Yeah, yeah. I'm, don't I'm, lose starting this. To, I'm starting to actually take real damage here. Oh, don't lose this. Yeah, oh. I went down. All right. Snow forever. Shit. I wonder where you start. Hey, I'm going to try doing this one-way conversation I just, with you. I just sunk a little deeper into my chair. <laughs> Jim. I should never gotten out of a rig. I agree with him. Okay, sprint. Don't shoot him. Oh. Just sprint. You think if you don't shoot him, these things hatch? blow up, though. That's uh, if but, I get near them. But if you don't shoot them, uh, can you blow up the enemies when they come out? Probably. I liked your grenade and the the sphincter yeah, idea, that, but uh, I don't know if it's actually making it in there. I mean, it made it in the other ones. I did. Like the, they didn't have to wait for it to open or anything. Didn't seem like it when they were doing the tutorial stuff, okay. saying, "Oh no, that one definitely didn't go in there." Oh, oh that frame rate gets a little gnarly. Yeah. yeah. Well, is there's this. Oh, uh, that's the thing. This is out. Oh, on, I guess I should. Uh, this is out on PC. I wonder how it looks. Oh yeah. They have to go sit there and tap it, right? Oh, It'll be fine. Bit. No, it won't. Now you got to throw a grenade in that. Uh -oh. Is it because you're dying? I don't have, have any grenades. I'm doing so hot. Wait, this isn't gonna work. Is that gonna out. heal you? I don't know. Because if not, you might have a problem. I bet just sitting there will heal you. Maybe you can just shoot the uh, sphincter thing. Yeah, maybe. The unlimited bullets in that gun. Yeah, pistols unlimited. Oh, you have the. Uh... There we go. You have that machine gun too, right? I do have that shotgun, yeah. But it just oh, seems it like shotgun. it sucks. No! Oh! What is this over here? Let's see what's up. Arr. I got a thing! Audio log. Ah. Uh, no way. It's kind of acting. Fine, fine. Now we get to return to the rig. Oh, I don't know if that one on your right. I forgot to close. That grub hole. Think you're right. There's ammo over there. Yeah. Look at my face! I don't want to look at your face. <laughs> I'm looking at your face. I don't want you to activate that T energy beacon if it's just going to probably get swarmed again. I think you extract all the uh -oh. energy all the out juice of it. Out of it. Or were you turning it off? Is that what you said? Because you said it was just wasting. Yeah. I'm not here to argue with the fiction. But I will. Uh, I guess we'll go this way and up and around. Is that right? Ooh, oh, space wolves.
Lost Planet 1 was near launch? Or no? It, it was, was like, it was early. I, yeah, it's, is it 06? I think it was 06. And here we are at the end, huh? It was like the year after, it was probably less than a year after 360 came out. If, if, if that I, sounds right. If I had to guess. Like pre-Gears of War, right? I think so. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because I remember seeing it. It was it was one of the first uh, games of this generation that I saw that I just went like, holy shit, that looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the snow stuff looked great. I'd have to look at it again because it's been so long, but I... It sounds mean. I feel like it looks better than this. Hmm. But maybe I'm just remembering yeah, it. Yeah, I doubt I doubt Really that. rosily. Well, it was also, from what I remembered, the early stuff was just outside and white. Uh, there was a lot of stuff in, in interior, like, cavern environments. It looked really good. Uh, the end of, yeah, end of that game, you were, like, flying around in robots. Hmm. I've got to get <laughs> some, whatever the stuff is. There are 11 shotgun shells in a case out here. What does he sound like? Great freaking gig you got here, Jim. Jim Rayner? Oh. Troy Baker. Uh. The 360 version, by the way. In case people were wondering. I don't remember if we said that. We said this is also D&D &D PC. Yep. And, yeah, it's out PS3. on PS3. And no Wii U. Personal computer. Not that I'm aware of. No. Well, thought. Wait, what's the status of Unreal on Wii U? Uh, I mean, Unreal Engine Four is not going to. Be oh, is that there. what it was? Three is fine. I think so. I mean, I know they get, like they brought Mass Effect over, but that right. may have just been EA doing the port job. I'm not sure. You guys know about frame rate. I assume UE Three is fine on Wii U. How's this doing? Not great. I don't know. It's not horrible. Horrible. It's not Saints Row Four bad. <laughs> It's not oh, far. you're on the stairs. That's pretty screwed up, man. <laughs> it's not Far Cry 3 bad, but it could be better. Who's ready for new consoles? Yeah, sure. Yeah? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, definitely, but like, I like I like my new video card and my PC. Well, sure. But even, even that's fine, because, you know, PC games will start looking better, too, as a result. Yeah. Low common denominator moves out of town. Yep. We need your rig to secure the base oh, you can't see Jack. Get back to base immediately. Like, I can't wait to see that first wave of uh, multi platform stuff. Like, dedicated. Yeah, like Battlefield 4. Uh, stuff Watch that's not coming out on these consoles. Watch Dogs. Well, those games are coming out on these consoles. But they're also coming out on the next gen consoles. So that's what I'm a little worried about. I hope they well those those hope they may, do right by them. Yeah, those may just be you know we enabled a few extra effects. Yeah. Or something. Oh, if they're already doing PC versions, they've at least got the opportunity to do. Yeah, but they're probably going to share common models and stuff like that to a large extent. Right, but I, what I want is a ground up. Yeah. Well, that'll never that'll, had to think about. Like never made one for the yeah that'll come next year. 2014. It's on the way. It's gotta you just got to make it one more year. <laughs> I don't know, man. At this point, just, just don't, don't, just, don't, know. don't throw in the towel until, like, this time next year. It's an Emperor Storm. Missed. You rotate the stick? I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
Whoa. So I gotta find the the repair frequency. What? Look, man. I don't the, know what the future is gonna be like. I, I, why, why I you have to get outside. I ain't no space engineer. That's right, you're not. But that doesn't sound like a real thing. And it's Emperor Glass, just in case. I forgot. That's bad. Yeah, that doesn't look like a good thing at all. Oh, the thought, hy hydraulics burst. I thought this rig was like your only thing in the world besides your wife and kid. Yeah, well. Oh, wait a minute. The windows appear to have magically healed themselves. It was just snow on them. Now I understand why you like this rig so much. Yeah. You did it! Oh, it hooray, everyone's saved. I should probably get back. <laughs> Cockpit locked for your own sake. Don't get out. Last doors have been closed. Lockdown in effect. You know what that number is? Four thousand. That's uh, my current Tang monies. Man, we didn't even get to hazing them yet. It's just a single player. Hmm. I hop out and uh, show a little multiplayer off. When you're in the rig, you do, you know, obviously, you know, they give you that block, they give you that drill, like there's bigger fighting, you use the claw to grab bigger enemies and pick them up and drill them in their glowy bits and stuff. <laughs> it's, uh... Ugh. Uh, the what little of it I've done playing this game did not uh, strike me as awesome, but it's definitely different from the on-foot stuff. It's not just a bigger version of that. I would really like to see this on PC and see if it uh, is... Uh... Fidelity's a little better. I like this music. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. It's Unreal Engine. Woo! No, I can't on, drill him. Give him a high five. I'd celebrate in time. Good job, Jim. Good going. Good going up here. Go drink a Bud. Not even a Bud Light. A Bud Heavy. Bud. You earned it. This one goes out to Jim and all the other riggers out there. Scale. From the sound of all the cheering, I'm guessing the rig's working all right. Kermit Tractor's coming handy out there. Yeah, yeah, kid. You done good. All right. It's good noise. <laughs> So how far are you in about? Is this like maybe an hour in? Yeah, this is maybe like, you know, we're probably about an hour in right about now. It's still pretty early. Yeah. That's your first time out in the rig. Okay. So. Still waiting for your main point of conflict. Yeah. All right. Humor me. I want to hear the back noise. Sounds like the go forward noise. Wait. There's no back noise? Oh, it's the same. Yeah. No back noise. Wait, no, well, okay. I don't know if this wasn't up yesterday, but the game is now officially out, so maybe it's there now. I don't know if this is going to make a difference or if this is just like, see the pre-order skins that you don't have, dork? <laughs> hey, oh. jackass, maybe you should have pre-ordered and then you could have glow-in-the-dark asshole mechs. <laughs> but if you don't, you can download this other pack so you can, oh, the pack's not up yet. Thanks for prompting me for the pack. That's oh that, no, that was it. That was it. It was just called No Lost Planet Three. <laughs> wait, what? I want to see you. Pilot. Oh wait, it was free. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you can use it. Oh. So you have to get this before you can play online. It's required to play online with other users who've installed downloadable content. Gotcha. It says. So, I guess. All right, get it. You have to get it. Get it. I want to see you pilot an asshole mech. Get it. No, I don't. I don't have the asshole Mac pre-order you'll, pack. You'll see other Macs. But well, we'll see if anyone else did. <laughs> what? Uh, what do you? What also, are I they? don't know if the Macs are in the multiplayer from what I played of it earlier. Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys think so far? I. Uh, Give me we're at the halfway point here. This quick look. Like what do I, I, Let's check in at halftime. Yeah, half what a season report. it's been. I, yep. What the, a season. The the running around the base stuff seemed kind of neat. Everything after that, not as much. 
Yeah, I kind of like their their setting. They're kind of yeah. They're like I said. They're kind of yeah. They're space truckery yes. kind of engineer well, space trucker. Stuff. Or, uh, I like I like that the main character has a big beard. <laughs> I don't like his weird slick back kind of. No, like I feel like that's part of it. It's, I, I feel know. like that's part of it. Looks it's like a a dirt, it looks like yes. a jerk bag. Yes. All right. It's a little sleazy. Well, sleazy's not the right word. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I think the the voice acting and, and the, that interaction, at least that kind of bigger one, more drawn out one, so seemed good. I like, uh, how, so if they have a good narr- a good story and it's delivered well, I could I could make I it know. through. I just Com- think combat. the movement and combat yeah. stuff yeah. Is, is pretty flat. I wasn't even playing it, so I don't know how it moved and played, but it didn't look super engaging. Right. So like, if if the it's stiff. If, if the so. story is great, uh, for me personally, I could probably make it through some of that yeah. combat. I felt stuff. like the the pistol was better than the shotgun because the shotgun just didn't. The shotgun seemed effective at longer ranges, but not so good up close. It's kind of weird. Mm. It seemed when things got close to you, they were in you. And, yeah, and that's what. And yeah, like, yeah. then you were shooting through them, or yeah, at least punched through them. Like but, I walked through one of those dudes when I was running up that up those stairs. It's too early to call. What a season. What a season. Mm, 40%. You guys think this stuff will be different in the future? What? It better be. Like, you think this will just be in the background, keep playing your game? Yeah, yeah. Like, all the compatibility pack stuff. Like, that's that all seemed like hacky workarounds mm. to get around their patch size limits and, and all the stuff that came with them not guaranteeing that there was a hard drive in the system. Oh, I want to get my hands on those new UIs. I want to see how all those new interfaces are built. You think there'll be a thing that's just like, hey, turn on auto updates for all games installed on my system? I think there will not be a turn off auto updates for everything on all systems. So you think it'll just... You know, firmware everything on down, it'll be, it'll just be hey, we installed sleeping. the latest stuff. Okay. Sorry if you were trying to keep it on old firmware to do something bad with it. <laughs> you should have unplugged it. <laughs> that is a nice way to get around that. Yeah, yeah, they, they will. They will probably just be better about forcing that stuff. I really hope. Uh, I hope neither of them puts that behind the paywall. Of course, to be fair, it seems like you're going to have to pay the subscription for both of these consoles for them to be worth shit anyway. Right. But yeah, yeah, I think so if, you know by putting anybody, by any, putting multiplayer into PlayStation Plus, I yeah. think at that point anybody yeah, who's all, serious all their firmware about that, updates, everything yeah. should be free. And, but 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 I, anybody, I, I, I would imagine. But anybody who's serious about owning and using these things. Regularly, will pay for that. They'll be they'll be on the premium plan anyway. In the next gen, but, yeah. But regardless, you know, I hope that the auto update stuff is as easy to access as possible. Mm. Well, it looks like they're making you know they're putting the multiplayer behind that paywall, but Sony's doing a good pitch on on making that plus stuff seem attractive. Uh, yeah, well, it's weird. It's weird because. They, they really had to do that before because they didn't have multiplayer. Right. But, so, and they did a good job of it, you know. But now they have multiplayer, which is kind of the only thing you need for a large portion of the audience. Like, you kind of don't have to make a... But they didn't say, like, they're doing, like, Microsoft's multiplayer infrastructure where they handle servers and right. stuff. Right, they're, they're, they're not building that. They're not doing that. That weird stuff. Um... So yeah, it, well, it, it's also smart, you know, like, right out of the gate, it gives you a reason to have PlayStation Plus, whereas, like, on the Vita... You know, it, like the, there was a point where there weren't a lot. There still aren't a ton of Vita games yeah. out there. So having stuff go into PlayStation Plus, like they just have it go in temporarily, or they do discounts and stuff on on newer downloadable Vita games and stuff. But so they they found a way to make it work. But they seem to be flexible. Man, we're on like a 300 megabit connection in here. I can't believe that this is so slow. <sighs> Thanks, Xbox Live. I, you know, it's a good thing we have the Xbox version. We'd be sitting here for another 40 minutes on the PlayStation version. That's true. Uh, <gasps> I hope both of those things get better. Oh, Who's download that speeds are gonna... Visceral? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Visceral Takedown. That's what this whole game is. <laughs> <laughs> it was capitalized. Yeah. They know what they're doing. So, yeah, load out some perks, you know? Oh, okay. You got a... Uh, Wave-based survival mode, three-on-three, three, and then a 5v5 uh, set of online. Wait, three-on-three? Three. Yeah, but there's also AI in there. Oh, okay. wait. You're, so you're, so you're fighting each other while fighting oh, okay. the Acrid, I guess. Oh, weird. That's that's what that reads like to me. So what's the point of killing the Acrids when you should just be killing the other team? Yeah, maybe you get T-ang... 
So it's just the two modes? Uh, the 5v5 has three modes in it. Oh. Your deathmatch, and that's some other stuff. This is out, right? This is out today. I found a match before it was out. Without much trouble. Oh, there you go. There we go. I like the guy on the right. You don't like the yeah. stage right or, or our, our our right? Okay. You don't like the guy with the vertical He's all right too. tube? I've got nothing against him. Want to see my progression sphere? Yeah. Sure. Whoa. Ooh. That's kind of neat. Well, Final Fantasy. Sort of, I sort of like an unconventional interface like this for... You like a good hexagon? For, for an upgrade path? Yeah, sure. It's very visual. Can you loop back around? Go far enough in the oh no, it's just dead end. Yeah. Oh, sphere. Shogi. Shogi. Shogi three sixty? Yep. Man, you're playing against all these MGD dudes. Yep. Miller Genuine Draft. And Danimal. Well. Three. Two. I don't really have a lot to one. put in any of these slots. Oh, we're playing. Or it's kicking us out to the menu because the lobby closed down. Yep. Sweet. Why'd you break it? Ah, uh, you know. It's <laughs> doing your dil due diligence. Two teams. Contest a credit reward zone in a final elimination round. Sure. Mm. Yeah, deathmatch scenario and extraction. Extraction. So when you hit quick match, what do you get? What are you getting into? Any of those? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's pronounced extraction. Thank you. Extraction. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what to make for dinner tonight. I'm on my own. Pizza. I'm like bacheloring it up tonight. Kentucky Fried Chicken. What should I do? Yeah, you live near that. Oh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I've never set foot in that place. You should set. You should break. Hey man, break plan, boundaries. I don't plan to start. Right. Tear down doors. Ugh. Don't don't be oppressed. Walk up to that Jack in the Box near the frames oh, place. Fuck that. I have been to that place mm -hmm. too many times. Well, there you go. And I swore to never return. That yeah. place is pretty much the you most. Go there after nine. You get the late night menu. They get... Last time, I, yeah, that was what did it. I, last time I went there, I felt like really intense stomach pains, like halfway through the meal. And threw the rest of it away and said, I am never going back to that Jack and in the Box. If you just ate there more frequently, it would be probably be fine. Well, you just need like to get your stomach used to it. That was like three years ago. So stop washing your hands so much. It's too late for me now. <laughs> it's pit pee all over your hands and then eat. I, uh, every time I ate there, Destroy I. Destroy the snow pirates! Felt like I started getting runny nose every time, ah. like an hour or two after. Like, That's uh, like a minor cold. Are all Jack in the Boxes 24 hours? I'm guessing no. Nah, probably that, not all of them. Because that one is. Uh, and that place gets magical. The, one, the ones in my yeah. area are late at uh, night, or one a, of them is. There's anyway. a rough crowd. Like there. late on a Saturday night, that Jack in the Box is a sight to behold. Yeah. Hey, can I get in this thing? People just putting their heads underneath the oh, someone already soda fountain. Yeah, yeah, it's, it gets, it's get in a VS. Put, it gets pretty rowdy in put there. Their tacos in their pockets. It's weird because it's not like there are a lot of clubs or anything near there. No, it's oh. like a gas station next to well, it. Well, right there. I mean, you know, a few blocks away there are some bars and stuff. But you get a lot of like what seems like sort of runoff from clubs on a Saturday night there. Uh, like people getting out drunk and rowdy. You are by the college. Want to eat. Well, these don't seem like college kids. <laughs> seem yeah. like a slightly older crowd. Older club, but board. it also is like the kind of only thing open past eleven or whatever in that neighborhood. Yeah, sure. So like everybody's there. Oh, never not, again. Not a lot of folks playing in this match, huh? Oh, jeez! Oh, Let's probably get out. VS Vital Suit. This does. Oh yeah. Never Lost, get out of the Vital Suit. Lost Planet. How many people are in here? A back button. Oh yeah, full. full five. Full five match, v five. Yeah. Hmm. Madness. Don't worry, Sir Shock Fu is gonna carry you. 
Uh, that grappling hook thing looked like a Lost Planet. Like that in particular. Yeah. I was like, alright, that that's something I know. It was real slow. Well, kinda. You know, like, when I can go back up. Oh. Let's... Can you go up there? Yeah, maybe, maybe I remember the, the old... Maybe I remember the old one being faster than that. Yeah, I remember that. Well, they had a lot of motion blur on all their stuff uh, yeah. previously. I feel like I should do something responsible because we're about to go to PAX, which is going to be several days of irresponsible behavior. It's fast. Yeah, going like a juice cleanse. No, nothing. For the next 48 hours, water. Whoa, 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 I can revive that guy. Hey. Stop him. He beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing at you, man! Oh, they're no. laughing at uh, you! I really wish you could turn that voice chat up, because I want to hear what they're saying. They are laughing. Turn it up. Laughing. No, that's all, that's my team. It's a team-based game, so it's probably... Turn the... Uh, can you hit start and just turn the game audio all the way down? Not easily enough to... Oh. He just doesn't want us to hear what they're yeah, saying about him. Laugh. Also, that too. He yeah, want to hear all that. <laughs> Expert commentary. That they're really taking you down. Fucking noob team. What are you saying? Oh, come on, guys. Let's just be lost plant buds. Whee. Something very unnatural about the look of that animation. I think yeah. you're right about the thing being slower. Yeah, it is pretty slow. Do it again. Do it again. I can't. There's nowhere to... Not even to your left. Oh, God. Enemy VS. Oh, I gotta stay alive. Fuck it. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I, you know. Hardcore smoker. Like, check out this hot team deathmatch game. Is this yeah. like Titanfall? Yeah, this is basically just, this is Titanfall. The max and the jumping and the running? And yep, the, totally. 100%. Yeah. Is there running and hopping around and is, stuff. Is there any third person view in Titanfall? Do you ever see your character? Uh... Like, even in the process of, like, getting into or out of a Titan? I think we're getting into and out of, yeah. I okay. think you might see it then. It's not always first person. Yeah, so they give you, you know, some stuff uh, at the end of the match, some personal awards. I got one of these that was called Bionic Commando. Mm. for using the grappling hook a lot, which mm. I thought was pretty okay. We, we can vote. I think I still talk. On maps. He's still talking. Oh, he took off. He was done talking. Do you want to see any more of this? I think, I don't know, I think I, I'm pretty good. Okay. I'm, I'm set. I oh. think I've got what I need. You can quit. Are you in? Are you in? You're it's in it for good totally now. Like, it's just, well, check, check, your check this out. <laughs> See what your message is. No. That's Lost Planet 3. Uh, why don't we... You want to rent, rent a movie? <laughs> There's a free UFC fight. Check that out. No, I'm... What you say? No, no, I'm alright. I don't know. We could buy one of those Rockstar games and, like, play through it. I think I already own all those games, oh. so... What's Hitman, actually? New Avenged Sevenfold? Wait a minute. Wait, go back. Let's check out that McMuffin ad. <laughs> don't... I'm not getting paid for this. I, I want to see what's... I want to see what's new in the world of McMuffin. Ugh, what, what, the, what the fuck? fuck? Uh, it's streaming it. It's coming. It's coming. Who's this guy? He's coming his cell phone. No, oh, that's not those. Are we what? quick looking commercials? Do you feel like? Do you remember when they had the Arch Deluxe? Uh, yes, I do. They had that round bacon <clears throat> that was like a peppered bacon. Mm. That didn't even tell me what. Like this says McMuffin pretty uh, clearly know, in it, I, and I the know. video didn't have anything to fucking do with it. Fuck you, new McDonald's. <laughs> It seems that they're pitching some kind of egg white only McMuffin. Let's bring back the goddamn round here. bacon. 
Wait, what was that? I feel that... like I've been mismarketed to. I went in. I even opted into that bullshit. I went in <laughs> and looking... then didn't get what I was looking for. Went oh, in man. looking for a healthier McMuffin. Oh! And it was just like they slapped us in the face. Fuck this. Totally disrespectful. That's Lost Planet Three. Yeah, thanks, Lost Planet Three. For the... Good going, Lost Planet Three. Where are your McMuffins at? It's out now. The McMuffin? Probably. <laughs>